period about to start here being joined by Dan of the uh, Funk Master Redux. Dan, kind of a rude welcome to the league, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's uh, definitely a wake-up call. At the, we weren't sure what we were getting into, so this will definitely give us a feel for what the level of play is, and we'll, we'll come back next year and ready to go. Uh, you can kind of see how these guys are the ch defending champions. Uh, do, you, do you plan to try and get any moral victories here in the third period? Yeah, we, we definitely want to get on the board. We don't want to be shut out much as we can, so if we can do that, it'll be a good, it'll be a good third period. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, that was Dan from Funkmaster Redux. Score remains 10-0. Tony able to clear it down into the corner. And Julie is going to get there first. Tries to play it up. Knocked down by Tony. He's able to control it, but only as far as Justin. Tony now to the middle. Nobody there. Molly will take a long shot. That gets through everybody. Forced to save from Paul. Reading it around. Here's Julie up to Nick. Nick controls again. Pass to the middle. This one gets tipped high and hit to David. David gets it around Simon and Funkmaster again forced to reset. Now Julie able to, cannot get it past Tony. Plays forward. There's a save. First two shots to gold, but two saves this time. <laughs> It will be Angelo and Keith taking the face off. This one is won by Gold back to Pat. He'll take a shot. No, that one is blocked by his own player, actually. At the end in the corner, tries to get it to Amy. This one goes past everybody into the back. Pat, forced to bring it up, cannot find his man, and it is Simon who's going to bring it around the back. He has Keith to help him, plays it off to Keith. This one goes high into the air, gets Pat. It's a clean play. Pat plays it forward. Keith has it, looking for a shot. David prevents the first shot, second shot goes wide. This one looking for Simon, can't quite get it there. Tony has it now. Partially tipped by Keith. Members of the Snake Eyes now uh, populating that bench. Snake Eyes and Triple Deeks is our second game today. Amy able to keep it in. This one behind the net. So look, oh, it gets clear to Angelo. Angelo looking, can't find Pat, instead Pat. Gets it in the corner. Playing it out. Looking, looking. Plays it to Amy. Amy's gonna take a shot. This one is blocked by Jason. Jason found himself flying across the line first, so nothing to do, nothing to do here. Finally, Dan's able to play it down the line. Simon behind the net. Looking for help. He's got Pat and Amy surrounding him. Not much chance to get to Jason. In the corner now, tries to play it. This one is behind the net. Now up to Simon from Dan. Unable to get anywhere, and Justin clears it the other way. Julie playing it up. Nope. Oh. It is Angelo fielding it out of the corner. Heading back to Justin. Around to Amy. Amy will take a shot. This gets through everybody, saved by Paul. That's three shots saved in a row. Shots 3 0 in this period. Amy controls in the back. Tries to play it up, finds Angelo. Angelo finds Etienne. He is on side. Uh oh, Jason loses control. Shot saved by Paul. Well done. Angelo plays at the center. Nobody's there. Jason's able to clear. Paul having a pretty good start to this third period. In goal for Funkmaster Redux, but the damage has already been done. It is 10 0 goal. Angelo did not quite cross the line. Everybody holds up. Finally to Etienne. Etienne looking for a gap through Lars and Dan. Cannot find one. Tony's shot goes wide. Justin looking for someone. Has it blocked by Jason. He's going to try again. This time he's going to go around the back of the net. Look for that. It's a tangle. Two guys go down. And it is Tony. It's Etienne the shot. That's saved. Shots are 5 0 goal in this period. We uh, clear the first, really, but no goals yet. That's the good news. Face off. Back to Justin. Justin to Molly. Blocked by Lars. He's going to try and go somewhere. Cannot do so. He goes behind to Lewis. Lewis gets it around David to Lars. Lars looking for Neil. This ball is cut. Neil is on side. I don't think he realizes it. Press play while coming back. Cannot do so. Justin now in the corner. That's the way it worked for us. Yeah. Neil Moser trying to hold him in place. But 
Justin gets it up to Tony. Tony now looking in the middle. He has David if he wants him. Now has Pat. Everybody seems to be opening the zone defense. If they can hit the long shot, which is not a guarantee, mind you. Back the other way, long shot by Lars, saved by Roger. Now, gonna fight in the corner, and we're gonna have a penalty on somebody. Penalty is on Funkmaster, not quite sure why. But we'll find out as soon as there's a whistle. Pass to the middle, there's the shot, that's saved. Now, what was the call? We're gonna call a slash on Lars here. That will be the fifth power play for gold. Shots are 6-1 now. And it will be Lewis taking the face off against Angelo. Gold on their fifth power play. They're three of four so far. That shot is saved. Angelo moves to take it again. A little warm body heat on this side. Pat's gonna try and look for a shot. Can't get it. Loose. Back the other way. But Molly clears it easily. And oh, we're gonna have a penalty shot coming up. Eighth shot of the game goes on. Number nine can't quite reach there. Nine by Molly. That is no, no, it was wide, doesn't count. We have a long penalty, a long delay penalty, not quite sure whose it is. Pat now is they have indeed pulled the goalie because first time Green touches it. We're going to find out exactly what this penalty is. Back to Eddie, and that's shot number nine. And now somebody on the floor for goal will take the penalty shot. Shot's already 9-1. It has been another all-gold period so far. Angelo will take the shot. This will be the 10th shot of the period. And oh, we're not even halfway there. How will he do against Paul? Angelo slowly bringing it up. Across the line, across the second line. He's looking for an opening. Deeks goes wide, shoots, go. Does it count? It counts. Angelo on the penalty shot, 11-0. Shots already 34 to 11 in the game. Uh, unfortunately, that does not end the, the penalty. So this remains their fifth power play. Justin keeps it in. David looking for Tony, can't get there. David back to Justin. Around to Amy, Amy to take a long shot. I think the ref may have missed one there. Play goes behind us, Justin plays it up. Amy into the middle. That one goes wide. 10-1 at this point. At the end of the power play, so Gold now stands at three of five for the game. David, Joe Justin, I mean, has a block. This one goes as far as Keith. Simon to attempt a shot, that goes around. Keith tries it, that one is blocked. Now a long play, this one goes into the corner. Shannon trying to get there first. Shannon with a weak clearance, gets intercepted by Tony. Tony looking for David up front, can't get it to him. Amy to Justin for the shot, that one is blocked by Nick. Simon back the other way now. Looking for Nick, gets it to him. No, kept in by Amy, uh, and Paul will just freeze it. Shots remain 10-1 in this period, 34-11 for the game. It has been dominance. Back to Justin now. That shot goes wide. Simon looking for his man. Gets it to Dan. Dan and Nick. A little miscommunication, but they're able to bring it across the line anyway. Into the corner now. Play it up. Is Angelo looking for Eddian. Eddian now coming in on Paul. Uh, cannot get anywhere. Closed down by the defense. Angelo to take his shot. That goes wide. Eddian will try again. That one gets stuffed. Now it's in front of the net. A little trouble here. But Simon able to prevent a shot. Eddian gets it to Justin. Justin looking. That one is tipped by Mara. And Paul will fall on it. Five minutes. 
about five minutes here left in the period. Back to Angelo, he's gonna look to Pat. Pat tries to the pass to Etienne, nobody there. Now in the corner. Corner it is Neil bringing it out, cannot hold on to it. Up front, there's a shot. That one goes wide. Off of Jason's stick, hit so hard, knock the stick out. More trouble. Now Jason. Pumpmaster's getting away, but Jason's able to get through. He'll take a shot. That goes wide. No call there and no shot there either. Angelo looking. Can't find Eddian. Shots remain 10 1 in this period. Eddian looking for shot number 11. This one almost didn't go. But Paul is able to land on it. Shots have been all gold. Goals have been all gold. Literally all gold in this case. Pat right in front of me takes shot number 12 of the period and easy save by Paul. We have four minutes, 20 seconds left here in the game. 11-0 to gold. And Tony taking the face off. This one gets away. Pat back to Tony. This one ooh, through everybody. Molly's going to try and hold on to it. This one gets past Keith. Paul's able to knock away before anything happens. And in the middle is, no, no, wait, Keith's gonna take a shot. No, that one's blocked. Resist the urge to high stick. Keith training around Pat, cannot do so. There's Neil. Neil looking to Keith. Got knocked away. Goes around, nobody there. Molly now to bring it back the other way. It's the call uh, on side here. Tony is on side. And but he is triple team, can't get anyone. Pat from the point. That one gets saved. 13 to one in shots this period. Oh my goodness. It's been almost as bad as in the first. They are finishing strong. David gets it out. Lars is there first. Lars tries to play it around. This one gets caught in the bench. Who's going to get there first? Lars tries to throw it on net. Blocked by Amy. Back around, Pat has it. Pat playing it deep to Tony. Tony looking for help. He has David center. Gets past David to Justin. Justin gonna take a shot. That's in. The 14th shot of the period goes in. 12-0. This is a route. <laughs> Been around for a while, of course. It's unfortunate this is uh, the first game for Funkmaster Ducks, but th this is just a clinic, Michael. Not much you can say about it. Funkmasters keep it in. Now Amy. Amy the other way, trying to get around. That one is saved by Paul. Shot number 15 on the period. My goodness. Now, Laura's trying to play it forward. That, that one was tipped on its way in, and Roger will fall on it. It will be Lars and Angelo taking the face off. One by just one by Gold and by Justin. Looks for Angelo. We were proud of uh, players ready for game two. Angelo able to fish it away from Lewis, trying to stop it. That shot is safe, and Paul is able to fall on it. It's what 15 shots now. Unbelievable. And the net goes flying in the process. I don't think anybody really can be called responsible for that one. Well, I'm sure replay will say. Here we go. Face off one again by going back to Justin. Justin can't get it through with Sea of Flares. Julie can't do it. The net shot goes roofing in. Angelo with another one. 13-0. We have a minute 20 to go here. Face off one again by Gold. Pat to Etienne, looking forward. Etienne passes to the middle. We have reached the one minute mark mercifully of this game. It is all Gold. The question at this point is, will they show mercy? I don't think so. Now Simon back the other way. Into the middle. Simon controls again. He's gonna look for Lars, can't get it to him. Tries again, now Dan has a shot. That one is saved by Roger. 16 to two now in shots. More power to him. Play behind the net by Angelo. He's gonna look up to Eddian. Eddian gets around Lars. 
He has no help, though. He's going to try and play it shallow. Now it's up to Justin. Justin plays it back to Molly. Molly with a soft shot gets through everyone that's wide. Lars behind to Julie can't quite control it. And that is going to be basically the end of this game. That shot won't go anywhere. Final tally on shots, 40 to 12. Final tally on goals, 13-0. We'll be back with the first star of the game right after this.